Today is part two of the Great Color Shootout, and we're gonna feature the Element RC Enduro Sendero. This one is the kit format for $250. There's also an RTR for $350, and this one we were able to outfit with all the hard plastic parts to sift in the chassis, and we outfitted it with a Hobbywing 1080 ESC, a Holmes Revolver mo brushless motor, and a Savox servo. Proline Hyrax tires, just, to the rest, like, just like the rest of the vehicles in this shootout. And we're gonna do the same lines as all the other vehicles and see how it fares. So check out the other videos that we have on this. First is the dirt climb test, a very steep and loose dirt climb with holes and roots where we make this vehicle go through the gates. Here it is. The Enduro is a fairly light vehicle, but it does have some nice shocks, nice big bore shocks that activate really well. Still rides a little high, and even though we tried to get rid of all the flex, it's still not as stiff as all the other vehicles here. So you'll see a little bit of bounce and kind of side-to-side um, -side movement on this vehicle. We're using the stock body, very light, very flimsy, but it has, it lets the user know that we are using the Enduro Sendero. So it does all the tests successfully. But the key is to see how the car performs. Here it is descending. Not so easy to control because of the, the flex and we set, we set it up with a lot of uh, weight in the front. Next one is a technical rock. A pretty difficult section. You have to get the left wheel over that left rock and the right wheel over the right rock. And then do a little strat straddle movement. Little pesky little belly dragger here beside it. <laughs> Waiting its turn. Element RC is able to do it very nicely. Note that we're not running any bumpers on this front or rear, it would have no chance with the uh, bumpers that they ship because they are extremely pointed and obtrusive. Next one is what we call our impossible rock test because 90% of our test vehicles fail. Little entry there, then you have to make a very sharp turn. Turning radius on the element is very good. Right there is a big Overhang rock on the left that you have to clear. And another guy did it. The body of the element has a square edge on the front where the grill hit meets the fender, so that's usually in the way. And it doesn't want to slide off or glance off rocks. Little cut there. Spent many minutes here. And after some bouncing, because of the flex of this vehicle, it was able to miraculously get over. Next up is the steep wall test, where you have to power through to get in the wall, and then we slow crawl from there. So here it's setting its approach guns it a little bit and then has to hold its position right there and then from here we do a slow crawl
Here we go. It bounces quite a bit. Without the chassis stiffeners, it bounces quite a lot. And here we're it's actually okay. But it's more than the other vehicles. So here we do the near vertical wall. These are not ideal conditions. It's a uh, couple days after the rain, so it's still a little slick. And the Element RC tries to get a, a grip, a foothold on it. After a couple minutes, we gave up on it. It just wasn't its day. And now this is our big boulder climbs. It's a test of grip, clearance, and steering. Not the driest conditions, so a little harder than other attempts. Right there, does really well. This is the strength of the element. A little bit of flex, a lot of articulation, and pretty good grip. And here it does a, a U-turn or a three-point turn. Does it very well. Here a little controlled descent. Tight turn here. Does very well. And right here, tries to do the steep climb. The body on the left rear corner gets in the way of that rock, prevents it from trying to get angled to the right. And it is a little muddy right there, so we apply a little power. Work at it for a little bit. And it's finally able to grab hold. A little descent here. And then it's going to climb the impossible rocks on the left. Everyone made an attempt and failed except for some, some big power moves. This element RC, for one reason or another, drags its belly, drags its links, and then gets over. We've never seen that. <laughs> but what the heck. Here is a little different climb that we've done from the rest. It's not, it's right beside our, our impossible wall, our vertical wall but it's uh, element rc shows what it's good at and here's our normal slippery slab climb where you have to get a grip on the cracks element rc dances around looks for grip Keep slipping off because it's very slippery and finally get something going here and 
here we call the wall of doom very tough entry we gotta hug the right wall just to get in and then we have to use a crack in the middle to get a hold and use steering to grab a foothold and then lately we've been ambitious and, and going straight to this wall on the right side only the Capra has been able to do this Element RC is able to grab and use the side of its tires to get up amazing performance so there you go the Element RC a little bouncy but it's got it's got good articulation good grip good shocks a uh, little bit of flex not not the greatest body but for the price 250 for the assembly kit and you're able to address a lot of the issues you know uh, it's it's a great building block for some good machines so stay tuned for the next one